everyone. Um, yep, I'm melting. It's too hot. I don't like heat. Um, so this video is a book review for House of Dragons by Jessica Clues. This is a YA fantasy book, the first in, as far as I'm aware, a series. So yay for the series books. Um, it is not Game of Thrones inspired. Okay, let's get that one out there. No. In this one we follow five unique individuals who have been called to face each other in trial for the role of Emperor of their world. Pretty cool. Only this year, the great dragon, who calls the people, has kind of screwed up. And instead of picking the firstborn of each family, he is called a liar, a soldier, a servant, a thief and a murderer. Um, from each family which means anything could happen this, in these trials. Uh, the story is told from the five characters perspectives it's not first person though which is fantastic so you don't end up mixing up who you're following because you're just going to follow one character. Each chapter is about three or four pages long so this is a very quick easy read you learn about the world as you go through it. It is assumed that you are in the same position as the person who's been mistakenly called. So you learn the rules, you learn the full detail of the world around you. And because the characters come from pretty much every class and social background you could have in this world, we get a really good idea of what this world looks like for different people. Certainly, um, Vesper, who is the servant, has a very different look at the world compared to Lucian and Amelia, who are born in the ruling families. Um, so yeah, so I thought it was pretty clever actually. Um, House of Dragons probably falls down a little bit because it's not clear exactly what's going on for quite some time. And just when you think you know what's going on, there's this twist. And you're sitting there going, oh, so what's happening now? So I would say that's its biggest flaw. But it's, it's some people who like things clearly signposted as to what the end goal of this book is. You might be a little disappointed. But I would say hang in there because actually not knowing where this book is going is probably one of its strengths. Because literally you're sitting there trying to figure it out as you go as are these characters. I think my favourite characters in this book are Amelia. We certainly spend a lot of time with her and it's really obvious why towards the end. And Vesper, who like I said is the servant, so we get to see her point of view of life as a servant, how she's treated by her ruling family and she has this fantastic connection to her dragon. That's the key bit of this book. The ruling families, each member has a dragon. Each dragon reflects the soul of its rider. So in this world, really, the key is the rider and the dragon are like one being. And that becomes really clear to, again towards the end when certain events take place and certain things happen as a result and I'm trying to keep this as spoiler free as possible because I didn't know where this was going so actually it was really nice to see that play out but definitely by the end you figure out the whole dragon side of your characters um, and that's really really interesting and explains an awful lot as well so we go so House of Dragons I would certainly say this is a worthwhile read borrow it if you can um, from the library or a friend or get an ebook. I really enjoyed it but then I'm a sucker for dragons and fantasy. I liked the multiple points of view it, but it wasn't too overwhelming and um, because the chapters were short and snappy you didn't lose your flow of, of those character storylines. It was all woven together quite nicely. And at some points, the storyline is told between two or three of the characters. So the story progresses, but you just see different viewpoints of it as you go through. So it was quite nice. So much, much more upbeat than Game of Thrones is, which is why I say it's nothing like it. 
There we go. So House of Dragons, have you read it? Try and keep it spoiler free, but leave your thoughts down below. Let me know what you thought. But again, spoiler free. Um, in the description box down below is a link to my book blog where I have more ramblings and hopefully more reviews from me. Fingers crossed. I'm being really, really slack at this. Um, you can also find my social media links. You can find me on Goodreads, Twitter and Instagram. So please come and say hi. That would be really nice. And there is a link to a black booktuber also there, which I want you to go and subscribe to, like, notifications and watch please watch their videos don't just click and walk away because it will not help sort out the YouTube algorithms we need to watch each other's videos please and as always thank you very much for watching and happy reading be well